if you're wondering why I look like a kitten, <laughs> um, you're going to have to watch my video on my travel makeup bag. Definitely get a hoot out of that one. Anyway, so alongside that video I thought, let me just go ahead and do my travel on bag. So this is not my purse, but my actual travel bag that I take on the plane with me aside from my purse. You know how you're allowed one personal personal item and one carry-on? Well, this is my carry-on. My big old handy dandy carry-on. This is great because it goes over my shoulders. It's not something I have to lug around via hand and the actual purse itself is very lightweight. Um, it's lined so if anything spills in it, it's easy to clean up and it was very inexpensive and it's a fun summer color. This is from B.U. Turner um, and this is very just inexpensive. I think this was $10. And it's very big so you can fit everything that you need in it. Here I'll compare to you to see my phone to this bag. In the bag are all the things that I need with me when I travel on the plane and not in luggage that I've checked on. So first thing very important this is either in my purse or my travel on bag. I like to keep it in my travel on bag because it's just more accessible to me. Whereas my purse is a bottomless pit, even though it's smaller than my actual travel on bag. So I don't know why, but I just like to keep the passport with me in that vicinity so I know for sure that everything for the plane is in that bag. Um, another thing that I keep in there is my handy dandy makeup kit. So you guys can watch the other video. I'll link it right here. Into my bag as of recently when I've traveled is scope. This little travel size scope, you can get them for like a dollar at CVS or Walmart. And I just, I like, as soon as I, if I pass out at all on the plane, as soon as I wake up, I take a little bathroom break and I gurgle just so I make sure I'm not like all <sighs> smelly. Fun Tic Tacs or mints or gums. Um, I also like to bring snacks with me, like a bag of Doritos or nuts or dried fruit, something that can seal closed again or um, that won't uh, perish, you know what I'm saying, like really easily. Um, so I don't take fruit like bananas and anything that bruises. It just it doesn't end well for me at all. So um, I either pack like a little Ziploc bag full of the things that I love or I get stuff while I'm already at the airport. I just load up on snacks at a concession stand. Along with going to those stands, I also pick up the newest and most recent magazines because I love magazines. I'm obsessed with magazines. And for some reason, I don't know what's wrong with me, I always buy them individually. Where if you were to actually pay for their yearly subscription, you're paying $15. Like for example, Cosmo, you're paying $15 for the whole year. Each one of these magazines is four dollars, four dollars. Sometimes more. Sometimes they're like four ninety nine. So <laughs> imagine what I spend four times twelve. I'm spending fifty bucks on magazines a year. Is that right? Yeah, I'm spending approximately fifty dollars on magazines a year on this one magazine. And I'm not even talking about all the other magazines that I get. And I also bring my handy dandy tablet and my iPad. So I'm only showing you guys my tablet itself. I'm not going to show you that I carry both. But I do have an iPad and I have the Samsung tablet. It's just a lot easier. Now we're turning into an Apple family. So now we have iPhones, iPads, and um, what's my laptop called? I can't remember what my laptop is called. Anyway, it's an Apple. So... Basically, we ended up having both things, and I thought that I was actually going to get rid of and sell this one, but I changed my mind. I think this is really fun for um, just keeping around, so that if Devin wants to watch like an action movie or something that I don't want to watch, he has his own, and then if I want to read, I can, or if I want to play games and he wants to play a different game, we both have our own little tablet to do whatever on. Um, and then I also keep either like my little naked juices that I love so much or just um, a bottle of water or something that I know has a lid to it and that won't spill. 
And that is the way that I keep everything super minimal and not heavy on myself. The only other thing that I might bring and stuff in there, depending on um, what I'm wearing that day and the weather, is a light jacket, because I'm always freezing in planes. And I like to have my hoodie on over my head when I, um, when I sleep on the plane. I keep my travel pillow, which is also in my travel bag. That's actually in the wash, so I couldn't show it to you guys, but that also goes in my travel carry-on bag. But um, I like to put my face into my pillow and my hoodie down and just like pass out. No one can see me. I'm in, I'm, and no one can see me because I'm incognito. Ninja. Super late and I'm tired and I need to figure out how I'm going to get this off. It actually is the uh, next best question. I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, everyone, so if you liked this video and if you want to see more inform informative things like how I pack um, my luggage and stuff like that, let me know and I'll definitely show you that because I have another trip coming up right after I come back from Belize. Um, literally like two or three weeks later, I'm going to Maui for a wedding. So if any of that is of interest to you guys, let me know. Alright, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye!